Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy. All righty now. Fora in the neighborhood. First off, I got to say, welcome to the neighborhood, bro. Appreciate you, You've been man. working, Long huh? time coming. Yeah, of course. Hey, man, you said long time coming, but I want to take you straight up to Fora is... You always, you know, when you're on somebody's radar, yeah, like you've been on the radar, right? You've right, been on right. the radar, and yeah. the thing about you too, man, is that even though if radio, if Big Boy, you hadn't been in the neighborhood, you always been working, yeah. right? Do you exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, exactly. like first off, man, and this is our first time sitting down together. When did music grab a hold of you? Since a kid, since I can remember, you know, what I mean, really is. Really, it's always kind of been around me. My pops was into music, made music and everything. So Pops made music? Yeah, yeah. So Does he, he know was, what you're doing like right now? Yeah, he knows. Is so. he trying to live through you? Nah, pops not Pops like wasn't that. no rapper before, was he? He was. Ah. <laughs> you feel me? So, you better, you better I seen him, than him? I seen him, I, I seen him selling CDs out the trunk. Oh, okay. Like, in front of the food for less. I was right there in the past. So you saw the CD. hustle. Yeah, so I seen the hustle from the ground up. So you, you know learned I mean? so, that. And it, even you, yeah. you soaked that game up as well. Yeah, of course. All right, of course. Is, is Pops next to you with your career like... Like nah, now? Not, not next to me, but looking from afar, saying, I'm proud of you. I believe in you. Hell and like, yeah. You know, everything that, that we've been through, he's still right there. Like, That's yo, dope. I'm, I'm glad you living out my dream. He's not trying to come Damn. in and get like a hot eight or 16. Right. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what so, I'm saying? So, yeah, sometimes, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I have like one or two songs with him. That's dope. But, like from back in the day? Yeah, from back in the day. That's yeah. beautiful. Not man. even that long, like five, six years ago, something like that. So how long has it been that, that you've been going from kind of just being around it to saying, you know what, I can, I, I can do it? Um, I think in twenty like twenty twelve something like that twenty thirteen. I've been working for like seven eight years, but when it when it happened, it was like twenty twelve something like yeah. that. Yeah, you know what's crazy, man? You'll see people for it that think like, oh, they just got in, they just got yeah. in, but we don't right. see people don't see the work, the work, yeah, before. Yeah. And I always tell people before, I'm like, man, people say, oh, that's overnight, but I'm like, man, yeah. you it must have been a long ass night, yeah, a ten a ten year night, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying, like, man, yeah. like. It, so yeah. I'm waking up. I'm ready for it. <laughs> exactly. Now, exactly. home plate, man. You from out this way? Is yeah. it is it different to to get home to love you first, or do you feel like you get it a little bit more other places? I feel like I mean I can't speak for anyone else, but for me personally, I've always been super close to like home, LA, yeah. Cali. Like I'm mm -hmm. super Cali based, and uh, it's been easy to get love from like Cali, uh, LA, all all around. Like even San Diego holds yeah. it down. What like, about when you do shows? Because you got yeah. shows coming up to. Uh, is it the Roxy? Yeah, sell out time. Yeah, yeah. Two, nights. two nights. How many times yeah. had you passed by the Roxy in your life? Oh my God! You know what I'm saying? So, so many. And then to have you know <laughs> right. two nights sold out at an iconic venue like yeah. that. It's crazy, and I it's crazy because I drove drove by drove past it the other day, and I'm just like, yo, I'm right there. That's a staple. Did venue. you get out and take you a picture me? in front of it? <laughs> nah, I saw the picture of you by your billboard. You know what's crazy? Yeah. <laughs> it's years ago when I got my first billboard. Yeah. Man, I would go and stand under my billboard. Yeah, of course. Like, that's a hell it's of a, a moment, though. Mm -hmm. It's a moment. It's a prideful moment. Like, yo, you work so hard to get somewhere, and it's like, you hear, like, not everyone can have a billboard. Yeah, and type, you put the you work know? in, though. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Now, what about the shows at the Roxy or when you perform at home? Ticket requests. Is, see, because when you go somewhere else, yeah. everybody don't know you. Right. At home, we feel we know you. And you yeah. should give us tickets. Yeah. And I'm like, man, if your homies and family don't pay, who will? <laughs> Yo, Tigger, it's it's crazy, man. My phone be blowing. Soon as soon as I announce a tour, my phone be blowing up. But I think the 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 thing with me is I've always kept it super cool and like you know with everyone personally. It's crazy because not not so many people hit me up like y'all get give me some tickets like. People are like, I bought tickets. Yeah. It's more, it's more of a, it's more of a love type thing. Like, That's yo, dope. bro, I'm gonna I'm see, see you at your show. Like, people I've known for ten years. That's people I dope. Just kick it with. They're like, yo, I bought tickets. I, I bought my okay, daughter. I need, VIP. To, I need to get into that because everybody I'm, just asked yeah. me. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, bro, you didn't have to buy none. You could have just hit. Nah, me. you no. say that you know? after they get it though. Yeah, exactly. like, like, oh man, I would have had you. <laughs> yeah, you know right, I'm right. Like, oh, you got them. <laughs> Oh, but man. it's like you know, nah. Big, I thank you anyway, though, man. Yeah. Now, now you were you just got off the major. Yeah, off the major. That's hey, man, away. it's crazy because for everybody back in the days, you wanted to be on the major, right? And mm -hmm. then now you see so much independent yeah. hustle, and you already was a brand, right? Before, so you yep. was probably like, okay, the the major, I take this because I already got that. Put the yeah. this and that together. Yeah. What made you bounce off? Um, First, what made you get on, thinking that it was going to help the machine? Yeah, I, I I thought the machine, you know, the 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 industry of you know having that stamp of I'm with a major, you know yeah. that that major label respect versus like independent because independent so much harder to like get people to listen to you or mm. get people to like yeah and even you know, distribute yeah easy yeah, call anything. But I thought the stamp and 
and don't get me wrong, like having that major label stamp did kind of help mm-hmm. in certain aspects within within the industry. But I think, you know, just being independent and, and growing relationships organically and yeah. meeting people and just I've learned that a relationship can go so much further than just having like a major label stamp. Yeah. So I, I, I'm the type of person I realized after I was on a label, I'm like, yo, I'd rather just put in the groundwork. Mm-hmm. How know? did you get out? Um, a good lawyer. Hey, hell yeah, you must have a great lawyer. <laughs> How long did it take you to realize that you wanted out? Um, it was towards the end. It okay. was it was really towards the end. It, it wasn't like a, I was in there for a year and you know I wanted to get away for a year. It was kind of kind of the last month or two. I was like, yo, this isn't working. You know, and and the people at Warner, they're human beings. You know yeah. what I mean? They're not they're not some evil people in suits. Right, that the are evil like, machine. No, like you yeah, gotta yeah. stay for nine albums. Yeah, yeah. I, I know him. I know him personally, and I was just like, look, you want this for me? I want this for me. Right, and it's not working. It's not like a mutual thing. So like, let's not waste any time, and let's just go our separate ways, mm-hmm. type thing. But then there's like financials and everything else you got to figure out, mm-hmm. and like all this recruitment. You know, everything you yeah. got to figure out. But um. After after we figured that out, it wasn't it wasn't too hard to you know. Be How like, long have you been off? Uh, three months. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. fresh, yeah. freshly yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it it wasn't hard to figure out, you know. And uh, it, it was like a somebody listening process. to him like, man, it wasn't hard to figure out. He's like, man, <laughs> yeah. we've been on our label since eighty nah, three. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it, it, it's we've been trying to get out this deal since like nineteen eighty nine. What are you talking about? And it's because the people that that were around me fought for me. Yeah, so easy call. For uh, how's how does being back to being independent reflect on your music now? Um, I feel like I could be myself. I feel like I can make music and put music out without so many people in my ear telling me what to sound like, what to do. You know, they think this, they think that. Well, you not getting so that a little input. bit? Yeah, of course. Damn, so that's much. crazy. And, but coming wow. in already having, you like know, something that you bring yeah, it to yeah. the yeah, table, the, the you would formula. think that they would just say. Yeah, like, let's, let's add fuel to the fire. And that's yeah. what I thought. But it, it was kind of like, yo, this is hot. You know, you're, you're cool right here, but this is hot. We want to turn you into... A pop star. We want to yeah. turn you into this. You we want to make you that. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you need to have some some like this backup dancers at your show. Yeah. I'm just like, yo, I ain't mm. doing no backup dancers. Well, you at never show. know, man. Because sometimes like, they're cute. Like, that's, not, that's not what I want. Lu- Louis yeah. is a hell of a choreographer. You, yeah. 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 you know, yeah. you gotta, you gotta. You, got it. Just like you ever that? talk to him about the shows you sneak in? No. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we, just, we just wanted to check I, on I used him. Used to man. pretend he was a good friend of mine though before when he started. Really? I'm like, yeah, I know four. You guys want a picture with them? That's Come right. on. That's let's right. Get a picture with them. Yeah. So, wow. had you ever seen him like around the seven one four? Yeah. So, I grew up in Anaheim, and just growing up in Anaheim, there's this name that would always pop up right. for a for a who's for right. a, who's for it yep. and then i was at a barber shop one time and they're like yeah four is doing like a signing with his clothes uh this weekend and i was like all right Where's cool Shirley? and i remember just driving by and i was like what the hell is this line for <laughs> rolling around the building just down the street and i was like oh i forgot four is here i was like dude who the f- is for a and then that's when I started, like, I, I, I got introduced to him. I yeah. started following him and then just seeing his progression until now is mm-hmm. crazy, Respect. dog. Respect. It's Aww. mad crazy. Appreciate you. Does it trip Thank you out you. when mm-hmm. you see your fan base and how hard they ride for you and come out for you? Because they've done it at Fairfax. They yeah. did it at Shoe Palace. Bro, like they, yeah. They're like, who who are these people I wish I would have known you better when I had my restaurant. I would have <laughs> asked you. They, like, really come yeah. out come for out. you. It's, it's show crazy. Up. Yeah, shout out to fans. You know, it's always love with the fans, yours truly. But, I mean, it's... At, at this point, I know it's just a a, a special and, and deeper connection than you know most of what's what's going on in the industry right now. I feel like it's a it's a you know from me straight to the people type connection. There's and there's nothing mm-hmm. in be, in between, and I and I feel like that's valuable. You know, how do you maintain that? By just being me, okay. just being open, just being vulnerable, not you know trying to hide anything and just putting my feelings out there. And it's really the music is mm-hmm. the most important mm-hmm. thing, you know. When, was there ever a moment that you realized that you started to look out and you saw the crowds get bigger and bigger, and you started to realize you were really on something? Yeah, I think um, I don't think there's like a specific mm-hmm. moment, but it was just gradual growth yeah. throughout yeah. the years. That's the work too. 2012, though. 2013, 2014, and it's weird because. I don't I didn't really notice it because it was so gradual, you know, mm-hmm. it was so slow. Like I didn't go from like, you know, five hundred people venues to like yeah. three thousand. You didn't it do the old like, town road. Nah, we took the we took the long way, you know, yeah. we took the right way and we and we built it the right way, I, I personally feel like. So yeah, yeah your, your fan base, go ahead. Your fan base say, is the hell of it, though. Yeah, did your merch have a lot to do with it? Because I see your merch everywhere, everywhere, bro. And the way you just put your brown out there and, and yeah. everything else is is something I've I've really never seen before. Yeah, I think it's a sprinkle of everything, yeah. making the right moves, doing the right things. Like everything counts in this game, you know. All the building off small wins, everything mm-hmm. counts. Damn, 
That's dope. Is that the merch you wearing right there? The yeah. t-shirt? Nah, nah. Your, yours truly. Oh, okay. So yours truly is a brand. Okay, because yeah. I was gonna bootleg it. That's the movement. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just need to see so what, what the new run looks like. Yeah. You know so what I'm saying? Big shows. boy got the hey, new run. Hey man, you, it'd be cold. You really come out of your show like, man, this mother <laughs> really selling my merch. <laughs> like nah, like y'all nah, like nah, yeah. big selling it outside. Yeah. But but what got you into that whole game too, man? Where understanding what your product is yeah. and and, and right. being the person that yeah that delivers your I own. Think, I think just being a entrepreneur, like I said, you know, when 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 my pops was like doing his thing, I kind of seen what what was going on, and you know, really in this game, you got to fend for yourself, and you can't yeah. really rely on other people for the most part to handle your business for you because they're gonna take advantage, mm-hmm. you know. So I just built a you know solid team of people that I could trust in house, and uh, I'm just like, yo, I'm a, I'm gonna do this myself. I'm gonna oversee everything. I'm gonna call the shot. So with the brand. That's how we operate. No does investors, it, no nothing, just me. Does it still feel crazy to you that people do show up the way that they show up? I've been in radio for years, and I can tell yeah. people meet me at such and such, and I want to tell you straight up, they're not going to be there. You know <laughs> no, what I'm I, saying? I, I, you get I'll one person up, like... <laughs> unless I do like I do meet, you know, me yeah. and Fora out at... But, but no, <laughs> people show up, bro. Right. Nah, I think it's just a blessing. I think it's just, you know, I think it's just what, what comes with... Uh, you know the music. I, I feel like it's the connection in the music and just me as a person. It's it's crazy. It's surreal to me. Mm-hmm. You know that so many people would come and be like, "Yo, I just want to meet this dude." Shake and you hand. still feel that? Yeah, of course, of course. And I'm grateful for it. Yeah, you know because I, I see a lot of artists with you know, especially numbers wise, like ten times, a hundred times the plays. But you know, I've seen a lot of artists that can't pull off the same thing, and I'm always yeah. trying to figure out why. You know, the numbers don't add up, don't make sense, but. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I'm just grateful for my side. I'm doing my thing quietly, you know. Uh, explain to me the dream. The dream. Oh man, that's uh, that's one of my favorites mm-hmm. uh, off the last uh, album, "Bury Me with Dead Roses." And um, and I, what does that mean, "Bury Me with Dead Roses"? I feel like it's it's kind of a, and it's up for interpretation, right? But yeah. I feel like you know you you supposed to give someone their their flowers while they can still You've smell been them. Saying that, bro. You feel yep. me? And um, but. I feel like it's burying me with dead roses because when I'm gone, it's like the roses, the roses are dead, the roses are gone too. So you waited, you waited so long for me to go, yeah. And mm-hmm. you know, you might as well give me the roses that you waited, you know, to give me, yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, the dream, man, that's that's really all in all a song about you know appreciating people while they still hurt, they're still here, here. artists, uh, people, um, anyone, mm-hmm. you know, for that matter. But uh, yeah. Man, I saw one of my partners, DJ Ray. He put up something yesterday, where it says, it, it, and I'm probably paraphrasing. If you can go on to DJ Ray's Instagram, but um, it had like people really appreciate you after this line, and it was like the heart rate, and then when the flat line, mm-hmm. yeah, because we do right. kind of come together mm-hmm. after like, man, he was such a good yeah, dude, crazy. or she was such a, and, and we've been really, I've always been a flowers while they here right and then right. since nip passed yeah it really made you kind of double and triple down on it yeah rest as in peace. well yeah. man exactly. and and i know i i see you locked and loaded on the nipsey side yeah. too yeah is but that- you know but but and not to cut you off but you know the people that was like showing love to nipsey while while he was here yeah for five years ten years yeah, while he man. was grinding you know what i mean like you know the people you you could see the difference in the people that was like yo i've been rocking and riding with nipsey his whole time, his whole journey, and then you see the people that was like, "Damn, like I missed out on giving my res- paying my dues and paying my respects to him, and you know waited until it was too late because right. there's a lot of us that you know paid our paid our dues and was like, yo, Nipsey's Nipsey yeah. should be more respected in this game, yeah. period.' And it is kind of when people mm-hmm. do recognize, you know, there's some people that came posthumous to, to Nip that didn't right. know his music. And right. I can't fault them for not knowing yeah, of course. it. You know what I'm saying? And and if they continue that marathon, then then understood. I just know like there's some people, YG, you know, that, exactly. that vocally said, you know what I'm saying? And I felt yeah. the same way if it was abused. If it was there's some people that just used it. Of where course. you're like, oh man, That's like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's a, uh, it comes with it though. It comes yeah. with the game, it comes with the industry, it comes with everything. So I mean, you know, and that's that's kind of the thing that pisses me off about certain things, but it is what it is, man. It's his game. Yeah. How did Nipsey inspire your life? I mean, just just him as a businessman, as an entrepreneur. You know, I'm like since you know I was a teen, I was looking at Nipsey like, damn, I want to open restaurants. I want to do this. Mm-hmm. I want to do that. I want to open a clothing store. Like mm-hmm. I want to do he so did. many things. And um, him him, you know, not only is a amazing artist, amazing rapper, but him as an entrepreneur and businessman, he inspired me, and he still inspires me to this day. Did did you reflect back on 
your incident when you write something like yeah. the dream or when you see you know nip yeah. pass you know what i'm saying yeah, like of course what what do you think now already getting through that was 2015 yeah it was 2015 yeah and getting through that which is yeah. phenomenal you know what i'm saying to even yeah. be it's sitting amazing. here mm-hmm. as yeah. well because anytime somebody shoot at you bro that's like yeah shout that's out already god. enough shout out god looking over me yeah you know so so do you reflect on your incident yeah of course because i i always and i'm an overthinker you yeah, feel same. me i'm a what sign are you I'm a Libra. Okay, when's your birthday? October 11th. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm an overthinker, so I'm just like, you know, when that when 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 that happened in 2015 when I got shot, I'm just like, yo, like, what could have happened? I could have been this. I could have been gone. My family could have been, you know, m- like mourning me. Like yeah. I could have been paralyzed. And you knew that thing. then. Like, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. And I knew, like, I'm just like, yo, I'm here. And it was like weird because when it happened, after it happened, I still felt like, am I here or am I just like dreaming I'm here? Am I like, am I not here? I'm mm-hmm. gone and I'm just like floating around and people are like around me, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and, and like I said, like I'm an overthinker. So I thought of all the possible outcomes and scenarios and I was just tripping like, you know, would people miss me if I'm gone? What would they say about me mm-hmm. type? And, uh, you know, when I wrote the dream, I was just, you know, I put a certain scenario in a, in a specific dream I kept having, you know, into that song. And and did you ever think you, that was that if what if I didn't right you know what I'm saying yeah, like yeah what if, what if I like, didn't what if, what if I didn't what if I didn't make it here what if I was you know gone and that was the end of my story and my journey in 20 does that put mm-hmm. a different hustle on you too of course yeah it makes me it, it makes me appreciate life it makes me appreciate music everything that much more and it it also makes me feel like you know like anything can come to an end like yeah, man. in the snap of a finger so it's just like man every day I'm out here trying to do something every day I'm trying to build that legacy so when that day comes because you know it's gonna come for all of us yeah um but when that day comes you know i have something that can keep the legacy going how did your relationship with scott storch get started he's on the album produce the track blame on me so how did that come about um Man, Steve LaBelle. Steve LaBelle's an What up, legendary wow. LaBelle? Yeah, okay. legend, legend. That's what I call a legendary. <laughs> yeah, and he, he's been reaching out to me for a while. And, um, you know, for a couple of years before this song, before mm-hmm. Blame On Me. And uh, we actually uh, managed to connect. Uh, and, um, yeah, I, I just, Steve LaBelle's the one who kind of, like, put the pieces together. And, and uh, I went over to Scott's house to record Blame On Me. Yes. And, uh Man, I got I got to tell you the story. So when I when I went to Scott's house, I was like, "Yo, we're going to his house to like record." And I'm like, I thought like, you know, we I feel like as a musician, and I I just looked up to Scott Storage because he's yeah, hell yeah, yes, iconic. So when I was going, when I was like walking up, I just I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought he was gonna come out like floating and just like (laughs) levitating or something, (laughs) just like you know what I was just. I was so nervous. I was like, man, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what to do. And and he came out and he was just like, yo, what's good, man? You want any snacks? We got we got drinks. We got sodas, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, yo, this is crazy. Like, this is a legendary But you knew dude. the work, so you respected it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, the work and all, all the years he put in. And, and Scott uh, don't mess with anybody he don't want to mess uh-uh. with. Right. Too. So, exactly, because he don't have to. Yeah. Right. You know? But um, he's just a humble dude. He's just down to earth. And when I was in his, in his crib, in his studio, I was just like comfortable. You know, but before I was just like, yo, I'm I'm nervous. Like, I don't know if I can even record a song. That's doing crazy, though. Because I look up to him, you feel me? Do, do you feel like you, you're in that position now? Because there's a lot of people for it that want to get on. Mm-hmm. Right. And there's somebody that's probably looking at you the same yeah. way you looked at that's Scott. Crazy. And that's crazy to think about. And I still, it's it's hard for me to, like, comprehend that someone would, someone would possibly, you know, mm-hmm. look at me the way I look at, you know, another artist that inspires me. But... Yeah, it's crazy, man, to think about it because I'm just really, I'm just. You what know, do people I'm, I'm come mean, up like, and tell you, like, is when you hear from, yeah, your fan base? What what do they tell you? Like, is it you help me through yeah, something? Of I, yeah, they say you know, and they point out specific songs, mm-hmm. um, and they say you know this song helped me through this, and it's you know usually like a relationship issue, a mm-hmm. family issue, or like you know they were going through some mental problems, mm-hmm. and that's yeah. that's a super important you know topic, but. They, they go up to me and they usually tell me like a specific song and then they get deep into it and tell me like a specific line from a specific song and then a moment in their life. And like I talk to them, you know, I, I yeah. don't brush nothing off because it's important. That's like one of the most important things to me. So when they when they talk to me, I'm like, I want to know more. I'm like, why did this song and what part of this song and what were you going through? 
that you know made you feel like that, and they just get in, deep into it. What and makes you write story. like that? Um, I just think life and what I've been through, mm. all the things I've been through. Um, and it's really, it's really half of it's like therapeutic for me. Yeah, you know, half of it's things that I keep bottled in until I can't like keep them bottled in anymore, and I just let it out. So it's like therapeutic, releasing all that, all those like demons and like bad energy, mm-hmm. and just put it out into music. You know, what that nationality are you? I'm black and white. Go ahead now. Go ahead yeah. now. Half and half. And Nick. you got a song in Spanish now? Yeah, of course. Go ahead now. As you should. Now. Yeah, yeah. We out here. Is, Southern, and that's Southern Cali love. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Come on, baby. I, they, have you heard the entire... Because yes, I, I they have. check people on their Spanish, too. Yeah, from how, how was it? It's good. Okay. It's really it good? good. I liked it. Yeah. Good? Good it's a little bit different flow. Yes. Right, Everything was good. Trust me, I would have told you myself. Yeah. I would have came after you. Then necesito. Okay. What? She be on it, boy. Yeah. I'm black and white, but, you know... Raised by my Latinos, Latinas, yeah, man. You know, shout out, shout out the squad, shout out the gang. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it wouldn't be uh, you can't even say L A without you know yeah. you gotta say it wouldn't be America without Mexicans. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Easy call. Hello. 100%. What has been the response from "Bury Me with Dead Roses" from your audience? Like, what what are their favorite tracks? What are their most gravitating to? Um, I feel like I think "Blame on Me," "Then Necesito," um, and "Love Yourself." I think "Love Yourself" is an important one. Um, but really, it's just a mixture. You know, people go through an album and I told, you know, I told the fans and everyone who really listens, you know, to my music to go through the album, you know, tr- from track mm-hmm. one to track 16 and just really take it and uh and live with it. So people hit me up and they're like, yo, this week, my favorite's this song. This one. <laughs> and the next week, my favorite's this song. And it's good, you know, because I made a song on that album for a lot of different moods and a lot of different emotions that people go through and that I went through myself. And one of the most important ones for me personally is love yourself. Right. What are they saying about love yourself? Um, I mean that one. So love yourself in specific. They they just tell me like, yo, when I listen to that song, no matter what I'm going through, I just feel uplifted. They tell me like, yo, this helped me through, you know, when I was going through this or wasn't feeling, you know, so good about myself. This song is what really like lifted me up and gave me that extra push to be like, yo, I'm a I'm a I'm a take on this thing called life and. I'm going to keep going, mm. you know. When did you learn to love yourself? Um, I'm still on that journey. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you feel me? I can't, I can't confidently say, like, you know, I love myself. Everything's all good. Everything's all gravy. But I'm on that journey, and, and uh, it, takes a lot of, it takes a lot of mental strength yeah. to be like, oh, you know, I have this, I have that. I've worked this, this hard. You know, um, I want people to, to respect me within the, within the industry, within the game, and just in the world. But... I got to respect myself first. Mm-hmm. And sometimes mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, it's, it's hard and I got to constantly remind myself of all the work I put in, everything I've done. But, you know, as, as humans, we just get let down sometimes and yeah, we man. go through the motions. We go through the ups and downs, the roller coasters. So, yeah, brothers you know. and sisters. I have a little sister. Yeah. How old is she? She is right now. She's 22. Oh, OK. OK. Yeah. Do, she, do she know? Like, do she know who her brother is? Like yeah, as far as of like, course. she helps me. I got friends she, yeah. that need to get this, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. She helps me manage the the uh, the store on a uh, Fairfax that we have. So oh. yeah, yeah. She she in there. She yeah, I'm gonna do an family, in store family over there. Anyway. Yeah, That's man. how you gotta do it. Yeah, you gotta man. Do, this, this is ridiculous. But I'm gonna hire a company to come out. <laughs> yeah, and people just stand in line. I'm gonna do one of those. Uh, we don't only let three people in at a time. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Go go ahead. So what what's not, not the next move? Like there's a scheme, but. What is that next move? You know, you, we know touring the shows. Yeah. Like, yeah. What's um, the next card? So we're planning some things. Um, I just want to take things to the to the next level. Right. You know, we're talking about um, just doing different things, and especially being independent and having mm-hmm. you know it being that much harder. I th- I think it gives me when things are harder for me to do. Um, it's like a challenge. Yeah. You know, so it makes me want to do them more, but. I don't know. Really, just planning, plotting. I really only been in the independent for a couple months, so yeah. But you know, it's a trip, man. Warner Brothers didn't get you in here today, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. it's the work that you put in, right? Mm-hmm. That that, yeah. that got you in here today, man. Yeah. So and it's an amazing feeling when someone like, especially when someone like you that I've been looking up to for a long time. Thank like you, I've been brother. hearing your voice. Oh, right, you stopped it, man. Well, you should. <laughs> but growing up, <laughs> hold on. Let me turn. You, let me, hold on, please. Let me turn this mic up so I can hear these compliments. Please go ahead. <laughs> growing up in Cali, you know what I mean, like. I've been listening to you since, you know, I, I can even remember. But for someone like you to tell me something like that, like, it means the world to me, you know. Yes, sir. And, and that And that's what, what reminds me on the Love Yourself topic. That's what reminds me, like, keep putting the work in. Keep yeah, going. Man. Little things like that mean the world. You, you know? should have definitely gifted me something when you yeah, walked in. Yeah, man. 
He has a bracelet. You know he has like, a bracelet. I mean, um, if you want that's to. That's for big, right? What, what, what you know card did you bring today? How about this for you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, or one of the necklaces. Yeah. Jesus Christ, you're wearing, you're wearing two of them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Don't be stingy. Yeah, you, you would uh, think, Philly. man. Yeah. From here on, I'm going to have people just start gifting me yeah, things when man. they come in. All right, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm over here getting trying to get things for myself. You tried, big. You tried. Did, you were a tattoo artist also? I was. I was. How good were you? Yeah. I was good. I was okay. good. I was making a lot more money than, you know, at the time than I was on music. I was mm-hmm. actually wow. going going into debt when I was doing tattoos. Um, it was funding the music. And How did and that start? Doing tattoos? Yeah. Um, I started off doing graffiti. I started off as a graffiti artist. For, uh, Tag him. Call the police. Yeah. All the walls he did, <laughs> man. I knew it was him. For real, yeah. Come and get him. Yeah. <laughs> we got it on camera. All right. Shout out to 6 9 too. <laughs> 6 9 got me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He wanted you. Want it, yeah. So, but, um, yeah, I started off doing graffiti. That's where the name Fora came from. Um, I actually did get in trouble for that. And uh, I started doing tattoos because, you know, I had to make some money. Mm-hmm. I was I was paying my mom's rent, everything. Wow. And, um, you know, I was like, yo, I, I have more of a passion in this music thing. So the tattoos was, and I was making good money. Like, I don't know, like. 1500 a week or something wow. at the yeah. age, at the age of like 15 we need to start that's really good <laughs> yeah so but i don't think i had 1500 my whole year of being 15 <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go ahead but um but yeah i started going into music and i just believed in the music so much more and uh i went into debt for like the first two years yeah. i was just like i couldn't do anything like you know i had no money but i i spent all my time and invested my time time which is more important than money mm-hmm. yeah you know i invested my time into music and and luckily i believed in it and kept going didn't give up even mm-hmm. do all the obstacles you know that that were presented to me mm. when um, you look in the rear view mirror it, it looked like damn it worked out but at yeah, the time when you're in debt you know what i'm saying like, it's gotta be like this ain't working out this ain't it yeah, yeah. you know yeah. And, and even some people that love you will probably be like you sure yeah it's right, not that exactly. they don't believe but it's like damn like, like you they, they they see me struggling more than i was and they're like man you want to struggle like this and it wasn't like a you're not gonna be this you're not gonna right. make it doing this but it's like yo you're struggling like you're, you're it came from love sometimes you're, too. exactly you're stressing out like your your mental health like you're going crazy almost trying to trying to do this like are you sure you don't want to do nothing nothing else and i'm just like i want to do this what do you feel about how some people kind of get in for and listening to you it's been a, a journey Right. And then you'll get some that just come in and say, oh, I've been rapping for three months. And whatever. When you go, you go. Mm-hmm. Or yeah. they pissing on their plaques. or they, You know what I'm saying? They're not right, respecting right. The, the game. Like, what do you feel about that? Yeah, like the microwave. I think, I think it's just like life. You know, the game ain't fair. Life ain't fair. Mm-hmm. And uh, any anything can happen. And more and more peace and blessings to them. But, um, you know, I, I've just always been like, I've always kind of stayed in my lane and yeah. did my own thing. Did it but, your way. But... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. You know, sometimes, and I'm not gonna, not gonna get mad. Like I, I've, I've been doing this seven, eight years, and I'm, I'm doing good. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, damn. You know, well, how come? Yeah, how come yeah. this artist <laughs> just you know, wrote their first song and they've been rapping for six days? Yeah, and then you know they put out a hit and it's a hit and they're yeah. worldwide known everywhere. I'm just like. You know, but, but also I you want myself, that steady, that steady exactly, grind too, exactly. man. Because, because levels, yeah. Because after, after that point, it's it's really hard to chase, especially when you got a hit like that. Mm-hmm. It's really hard to chase a yeah. hit, and I'm just like, man, I could I could never see myself like you know having that one hot record and never being able to come back. Can from you it. imagine that? You feel me? It, and, and I it wonder sometimes, be is it better to take have it? Did yeah. not have it at all. Yeah. I think I would not rather right. not have some yeah. of that at all. Because I remember it was one artist. He said, "I rather have one album that sells a mil- fifteen albums that sell a million, yes. than one album that sells fifteen million. Of course. And I was like, of "I'm course. not mad at that because it's it's spread over and it tells more of a story. Yeah, you know. Um, but at the same time, to each his own. Yeah. Do you, you have know? a top five or inspiration? Yeah, I have a top five. Oh. What would be your top five in no in no particular order? Let's say, um, in no particular order. I mean, that's easy. Okay. Right, right now at this moment, I'm gonna say Pac, mm-hmm. Cole, Drake. Mm. Ooh, so that's my top three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he made it sound like he had them all. Yeah. Uh, Wait a minute, Biggie, and then we'll go with, mm, man, Kendrick. Kendrick, all righty. Now you're gonna you're gonna get in the car and it, then you're gonna have like, a six ah. and a seven, <laughs> yeah, and an eight. And that's how it goes as a music and, lover. Yeah, like, yeah. Can, can I switch it out? <laughs> yeah. Hey, big, I need to come on back tomorrow, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. I, to I definitely should have put dog in there. I wasn't, you know. <laughs> yeah, but 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 yeah, and, and just with that with that list, that tells me how organic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like you getting to where you're going. 
Right. As far as like what you know, not that oh I studied the greats, but there, there's an inspiration there. Yeah, no, I studied the greats. Yeah. I study everybody. That's dope. I do my homework. Yeah, that's dope, man. What was your pops rap name? Picasso. Picasso. <laughs> yeah. Then, was he a tattoo Picasso. artist as well? Did he draw? Oh, um, he drew. Go he ahead drew. now. He graffiti. <laughs> I think he did a little bit of tattoos here and there, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, hey man, your Picasso. pops gotta be like, man, he got all that from me. Uh, you know? Sure. Yeah, you know, if my son get my into radio, go. I'd be pissed. Yeah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they'd be like, man, your I son. Try. I'd be like, what? Yeah. Yeah. I, I stopped working and everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he come in and blow up. Go ahead, I think. Did you do any of the tattoos on yourself? Yeah, you all my any? all my legs. I did my stomach on myself. How do you handle that? That's practice. Right it's there. actually easier. I I think um people people misunderstand or like you know but it's easier because when another person like does a tattoo on you mm -hmm. they um you have to endure what they're doing but when right. i do it on myself like i can stop when i want yeah. if i can't take it like i'm not i'm not about to sit here when someone else is doing a tattoo on me and be like oh stop it hurts too much oh, oh you're gonna get stop, through stop, it stop. Hell yeah. yeah you gotta just sit there and take it <laughs> you have to go like, ah, yeah ah, <laughs> ah, ah, that would be me <laughs> oh, if you had to yeah. 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 you got to <laughs> mama don't come in here <laughs> if you had to do a tattoo today how good do you think it would be um it would be decent but it wouldn't be good okay right, right. <laughs> it wouldn't be like that's a good tattoo but it'd be like all right cool that's like you know I'm rusty. Let's is, tattoo is, is there I some, know I should have bought your kids Louis. so we Let's could actually lose <laughs> great wall of tattoos. Is there someone out there that got your tattoo that, that was early on that look at it now like, man, for a fuck this up? <laughs> There's probably a couple people. <laughs> yeah, but, they but were that, free, though. They but were that's free. their legacy, though, too. Like, yeah, man. Yeah. That was, you hear a Ford yeah. talk about with Big Boy? Yeah, that was yeah, me, me. I've been rocking with him forever. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is one of the first ones right here. And for if you had one choice to collaborate with one person, who would it be? It's, it's J. Cole. I'm going for J. Cole. J. Cole. It's J. Straight Cole. Up. I, I, I need that. I need that energy. And I just need uh I need that. J. Cole, hundred percent. What is it about him that you really love? I think it's just his story, his journey, you know, his his voice, the way he mm -hmm. projects and the way he, he just says things and, and, and conveys that message. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's it's Cole. At the same at the same time, I'm I feel like, you know, and I've said this before, but I'm coming for Cole, but I, I feel like I want that energy. You know, um, I've always respected Cole as a great. He's a great mm -hmm. in my book. Um, when you get really inspired by someone, do you ever find yourself not imitating them, but making sure yeah. that you stick to who you are and not getting lost yeah. in the inspiration? No, of course. Yeah, I, I, I get inspiration from, you know, and I'll be going through a, a whole month. I'll listen to, you know, so-and-so, and I'll be like, you know, I'll catch myself almost sounding like or mm. saying certain things and mm. i'm not afraid to say it like i get inspired by so many things mm. and um but yeah of course i catch myself being <laughs> inspired almost sounding like yeah. you know, like oh mm. damn there might have been some times in the studio where i'm like nah i sound too much yeah. like yeah. 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 Bring, it back. Bring, it back. bring it back yeah i can't do that yeah. <laughs> man for yeah. thank you for coming yeah. thank you. Man. Appreciate you, man. it was really a pleasure to have you up in here man and make Appreciate sure it. that you do come back with the gift though man yeah. Yeah. like don't don't, don't don't leave out of here yeah. you know what i'm saying <laughs> like for real you selling out roxy and you know, two shows in like 20, yeah. 25 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Man. You know, things are doing well, man. You should really give me something very I got nice. All y'all, let's get it. Man. Okay, see, that's, no, that's on the love. Yours truly. That's watered down now. I got all y'all. All y'all need to be just. I got, I got something special for you, bitch. No, no. Nah, nah. nah. When you say, oh, man. Even Monica looked up like, oh, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta spread the love, though. I'll take some merch. Really, you don't. <laughs> really, you don't, <laughs> man. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, we just send Louis down to get the merch. Yeah, you know what I He said he just take the merch. I'll take the merch. I'll take two merch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For in the neighborhood, man, big boy's big neighborhood. Boy.